So this is gonna be a reading for the sign of Pisces. Pisces, my readings are timeless, so when you see them is when you meant to hear them. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Also, please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can get alerts when my videos are posted. Pisces, if you wish to donate towards my channel, all the links will be in the description box down below. So let's get on into this reading, Pisces. All right, so we got set your course. Know where you wish to go, have a plan, and make and go in the right direction, okay? So you're going in the right direction, just so you know. Set your course, know where you want to go, have a plan, and it's in the right direction, all right? So whatever it is that you want to do, do it. The number's 22, so February 22nd, being significant or important. Two and two is four, so March 4th. Also, you could potentially be dealing with somebody in April, which is an Aries. Aries Taurus. All right, so let's see what else we got here. All right, we got the Sea Beacon Fairy Guidance, but where will it lead you? Okay, so you're being taken, guided in a certain direction. It's the right direction, but you're being guided there. So we got March there, number three. So that's March the 3rd. Um, it could be a life path number. Now, three being significant or important. How many kids you got, okay? Um, the other person's birthday. Um, how many kids they have, their life path number. Right now, it's like you just having to follow the direction or the the the, the air, the light. So seeing the light. It's also like giving me, um, what is that, a ship? Um, what is that, a lighthouse. So a lighthouse being significant or important. So somebody may be at the beach because deep dark sea mermaid. So making travel plans to go visit the ocean or to the beach. Finding solutions to unknown places in the dark. Also another light source. Um... The number there being 16, so March 16th. Again, being guided, and it's also giving me like MacGyver vibes. So using what you got to get out of the situation or using what you got in order to get stuff done. Um, you have the dynamic energy of a leader. So you are in a leadership role or a leadership leadership position. All right, hold on. For some reason, there. I'm just going to go ahead and grab these. Let's see what happened. You're being guided. You're being led. So let's see where you're being led to. All right, so somebody's saying I make thoughtful decisions that support my highest good, okay? That could be you or them. All right, give me some information for Pisces. Something about a date night is significant or important, so you may be getting out. Somebody's initials may be W. Date night is there. So somebody has a surprise for you, friends, family, or a significant other. Somebody's saying I can't imagine life without you in it. That is a thing. Um, last Saturday or last Sunday. So somebody doesn't want you to let them go or walk away from the situation that you're in. Something about Chechnya or Prague, okay? So the person that you're dealing with could be in a foreign country or from a foreign country. So that's giving me, y'all may have the diff a different background or ethnicity. Um, Vermont is significant or important. And um, somebody saying the situation is messed up. It's all fucked up now. So somebody may have bum behavior or had bum behavior in the situation. New Jersey or Vermont is significant or important. Is that one of them Connecticut? Because for some reason, I, I'm getting Connecticut. Um being significant or important um somebody may be in advertising or marketing um somebody and somebody may be a promoter somebody saying i'm afraid of rejection but i want your affection um somebody saying they can't compete where they don't compare don't compare so somebody's upset that they can't compete where they don't compare okay so somebody may be in competition with you but there is none <laughs> you have none somebody wants to uh Take you to a hotel, motel, or penthouse suite. Something about, and that was talking about date night. And here we go again with a date night. So totally a date night. Somebody wants to Netflix and chill with you. Um, that's being significant or important. Also, there's a place in Armenia. It's like a, a travel place. So you and this person traveling on vacation. Somebody may be a pharmacist in the pharmaceutical energy industry. Or basically somebody out here, you know, black boy, uh, drug dealing. Um which could also be somebody in the drug pharmacist like weed um industry um what are what are those those uh dispensaries so building your dream house and always be kind to strangers you're always kind somebody may need a doctor in a situation 
um, or a surgeon or something being very surgical. So it may have taken time for it to get done. We're also having um, daily rituals that needs to be completed and done and Italy being significant or important here. So again, more travel. Um, establishing boundaries are important or significant in a situation. Somebody may drive a Jaguar or a Lotus, but that's also foreign countries. So my heart calls out for you. The love of a lifetime is there. Again, somebody saying they messed something up. I fucked it up. Um, it didn't go as planned. So somebody messed up a situation. Um, their initials may be M, okay? So somebody you may have on block, you may have blocked them and their initials could be B or C because I saw both of them and Y. Um, the yellow color, yellow being significant or important. Somebody is doing mirror magic here and somebody's initials may be W, which M is there, but W was just there. So turn it upside down. So that may be significant or important. Somebody has nothing to say because you got blocked. So, you know, somebody saying if they could only turn back time, somebody wishes they can, um, somebody wish they had a time machine. They wish they could turn back time. Something about South Carolina or North Carolina being there. Somebody's initials starts with T. Something about music is in my DNA and music is my therapy, okay? Somebody has huge passion for you. And somebody's saying, I create the life that I desire. So those are the messages that your person wants to give you or somebody want to give you because that's what's there. Somebody's wanting to offer you some type of small token of their appreciation of their love. Um, you're focusing on your goals and your... Um, and your success, you're focusing on your goals. Okay, but there's something else to say. Focus on it because it says bring you great success. So focusing on your goals and um, your achievements will bring you great success. That's what it's saying because it, that card don't say that, but I kept seeing hearing something else. Um, manifestation. Um, so reflecting financially on a situation, a financial opportunity skill, development, ambition, desire, diligence, news, and information. But that card giving me the feeling like somebody wants to offer you something. Somebody wants you to walk away from a situation that you're in and come to them. Um, when you make your decision, do it with confidence. So somebody may walk want to walk away from a job. So somebody may have offered you a new job proposal, or this may be a situation in a relationship where somebody's saying you don't deserve that person or that person don't deserve you. They want you to come over here with them. Um, again, because it's giving me business vibes, like you're great in whatever situation this is, or they think you're just great with them. All right. You and this person could potentially live in a different time zone or in a foreign country, which is something I keep saying. Um, something about manifestation. A person, you bring out the best in them. Um, somebody is in real estate or engineer there. So you bring out the best in a person. Or you could have just left the situation and that's what that person knows. And they're trying to get you to come on into them. All right, we got the four of pentacles here. Um, holding on to things way too tight. So somebody may have been holding on to you too tight. They may have been holding on to money too tight. They may have been holding on to a situation. Either way, um, a solid foundation, building a solid foundation. So that may be what you're working on. And that could be the reason why you're changing jobs or doing something different with your money. But either way, everything is coming into balance. And so that's important there. All right, let's see what else is happening here. All right, so we got choices happening in the situation. You have a choice, an option, okay? And somebody wants you to make them an option or make them a choice. They want you to choose them is what I'm getting at. So um, also basically a person saying that they, they want you to figure it out more or less. Uh, you could potentially be tired of the wishy washiness back and forth in a situation. And either way, you have to just keep going, keep pushing forward, and keep continuing to strive on because it, it's like a little bit of illusions or a little bit of complication being created here. And it's like just focus, okay? Um, so maybe stepping back and getting a different perception or a def different perspective of a situation. Believe in yourself and you have the courage to continue. Again, you could just be potentially tired of the situation because it's like, look, um, I'm, I'm trying to follow the directions here, but it's almost like I can't see where, where we're going or what's happening here. So that could be the thing. Uh oh, and this is the reason why, huh? All right, so some type of relationship that's causing heavy burdens or some type of, you know, BS behavior. Three of swords there and then seven of swords. So some type of sneaky behavior that's happening. 
Um, be on your guard against deception and concealment. Betrayal, deception, theft, dishonesty, getting away with something. Um, acting strategically, trickery, and fraud. And I said something is surgical. So somebody is definitely doing something that they shouldn't be doing behind the scenes and trying to hope they can get away with it. But it's better to know the truth than to live a lie because to me, as I keep telling y'all, everything's being exposed. So regardless of whether or not a person wants you to know, things are being exposed even by accident, okay? The divine guidance and... and that's the way it's happening. So, not an accident up in heaven. Definitely divinely led. But it's like people exposing themselves and not even knowing why. Like, why am I doing that? Why did I do that? Why did I put that there? Why did I Why did I do that? Why did, you know, but either way, more guidance. Because the star is being here. The star is following your, following a beacon. So, each one of these cards is basically saying you're being guided somewhere guidance but where will it lead you you're being shown something either way something something is not right in the milk okay so just so you're aware of pay attention to everything and everybody because something is totally not right and they're basically trying to get you to pay attention and get you to see this um you will be you will be successful regardless of what they're doing but they're saying pay attention don't let it happen um without you paying attention somebody's in heavy regret for something that they did and also two of wands basically you moving forward and moving past whatever the situation is but there's news information coming in quickly so regardless of whether or not anybody wants something to be exposed or shown it's happening anyway because that's the way things are happening at this moment in time and yeah somebody's upset somebody's in regret because they're being exposed for what they did so pisces that's the reading hopefully it helps thank you guys for coming to my channel like comment share subscribe and go with me. Hey!